For as far as the eye can see, the northeast of Brazil is a land of dust and drought. It may be best known for its lush Amazon rainforest, but for many of the 50 million people who live here, life revolves around a constant quest for water. Like so many here, for the Gomez family, the tiring trek to collect water is the most crucial job of the day. When the local farmlands became parched around here, their father left to look for work elsewhere and never came back, leaving their mother alone to support her 11 children. Back at home, the girls explained that the shadow of present and future drought plays on all their minds. There's going to be lots of deforestation, so the animals will not have water to drink, and so they'll die. And that's exactly what will happen to us, too, because water is so difficult to get here. Well, this is a typical example of the slash and burn practice that goes on here. They clear this land of trees to grow beans and maize in the rainy season. But after just a few years, the land is left eroded and unproductive, adding to their problems. It's for that very reason that 19-year-old Zhao is finding it so hard to feed his wife and four young children. Ironically, the few days of land clearance work he manages to get a month only makes the earth more parched. He told me he now has no choice but to leave his family behind and look for work in the south. For example, this year, I didn't grow any beans at all. I didn't even get one thing's worth of beans. My life here is one of suffering. I've got nothing to live with. I don't feel angry. I just feel sad, and that's how life is. The water hole Zhao uses is drying up. Scientists say temperatures here have risen by a degree in the past three decades. A million and a half men now migrate for work every year. Many never return. Here in the northeast, we have a particular victim of this process, and they are known as drought widows. These are women who stay behind, taking care of the family, while the men go to work in more comfortable areas. So as the UN delegates gather far away in Poland to thrash out a global solution to climate change, those who are already suffering from its effects are preparing for things to get worse. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News, Northeast Brazil.